Oh. <laughs> Who's next? I would have the list up here, but Kevin won't let me keep it up here. Come on, Matthew. This next poem is called The Last Days of Humanity, and this has been inspired by the last eight years of the Bush administration. These last days of humanity, spent fighting over the dust and debris of our species' genes, the definition of beings been twisted by creating recycled souls, meshing flesh with machinery, proclaiming I am infinity and mocking death's lingering, declaring nature as tyranny and originality as forgery, veins pulsing with wire ring requiring smoke for breathing, but essentially performing and functioning flawlessly, abandoning the mistakings of aging and memory, depriving of the sensory sense degrading, purifying, harmonizing, emotional conquering, abolishing, altering, and erasing former histories and future potentialities, existing, equaling slavery, serving as a mentality mandatory for psychologically carving out territory through filtered breathing and static scratch scenes, reveling and revealing skies and acid scenes, the elite, wealthy, and supreme hunting down refugees hiding and scattered throughout the galaxy. Tribal genocide is euphemized as triviality, an act of mercy, epically echoing vaguely republics and democracy, now a godly hierarchy, enabling corporatocracy by the bidding of the banking families, the Illuminati behind government puppetry. Evolution was muted and made a scheme for the benign scientific community, ready to be rid of conceiving and breeding, love making and family liberty and justice for nobody. The transhumanist replaced all things with perfect forms, perfected meanings, reverting to researching what the fascists were rehearsing. Eugenics became necessity. Language editing reduced words to screams of infancy and brevity. Computers fulfilling all your conversational needs. Speaking your peace becomes condemning, a violation of zoning. No sanctuary for radical dreaming and possibility of repenting from the responsibility of accepting manufactured conditionality, conceptualizing of the heavenly was deemed unseemly and obscene. Faith seemed dirty and was scoured clean, sanitizing insanity, life and emotion and divinity, passions and pursuits and fantasies. Everything that made existing worth anything is now easily directed and craftily dissected. Populations passively accepting of the gleaming projections from digital screens. Psychosomatic criminality subliminally weaving the string of lies that we're believing. We think we're free and paradoxically controlling our destinies. Contradictorily chasing artificial selves and seeking and dying for debt money. Even suicide is taxing, coming complete with fees and a termination policy. Blind men, temporarily, you are now the kings, but in this totality of equality, our unifying reality, our dyslexic legacy of terrorizing and civilizing, our overriding intellectuality, equating to blindly worshiping of sciences and technology, all your progeny will be made to see these last days of humanity.